everybody. Yep, yep, yep. Can we change it so I can see it? The way it's supposed to be. Happy Friday. How y'all doing? Let's get some chitty chat chat up so I can see what's a happening. I hope you've all had a wonderful week. Who have we got here? We've got Denise and Jasmine and Ashley and Car slash Becky is here as well. Yay! All right, so I'm assuming audio is all good. And Craig is, let me just get this on the old silent doodah. <laughs> Wendy's here and Amy. Amy, we have your order and we're just a bit slow on it at the moment. I know that some of the things are out of stock, so I'll get back to you on Monday about that. <laughs> and uh, Carl says, excellent week across the pond. What's happening across the, what's happening over here? I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me about like current affairs or anything. Iris says, Lizzie, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. Crafty time, loud and clear, great. Okay, Denise has been doing lots of laundry. Boo for laundry. I'm not a big fan of laundry, I have to admit. What about you, Craig, you like laundry? <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't want to deprive you of it. Oh, no, you wouldn't want to deprive me of my laundry, of course not. <laughs> I, I used to, you know, very regularly do one session, uh, one load at least on a Friday. You did? A Thursday night. Oh, for because on a Friday you had football? Yeah, sure so, football, yeah. yeah, that's true. I don't do that anymore. Oh, but I bet you'd rather do the laundry and have football yeah. than, oh, poor boy. <laughs> Iris says it's been a long time since I've been able to join one of these. Welcome back. So I, I feel like it might have been Amy's suggestion that um, I was complaining about it, about it being so warm in the craft room. I think Amy said that I should wash my hair before the live stream. So I did that, hence the, the big mop. So over the course of the next three hours, we'll see it do this. It'll be very fun. It'll be like a time lapse of a hair poof. <laughs> All right, I am going to grab some. I'm going to grab some floral stamps today. Yes, you heard me correctly. Maybe actually this one. It's not actually floral at all. It's leaf. Leafy, leafy, leaf. Let me chop this in half. So I don't have as yet big plans for tonight however two things have uh, that I am aware of is um, it's my mumsy's birthday tomorrow and um, so I was thinking that I should probably make her a card so there's that. But um, we also had some sad news today and um, Craig's uncle had passed away. And it dawned on me that we, I, I don't really like to make sympathy cards. It's one of those things that I very rarely make. They're always really hard. Um, but I do want to actually for once post a card. Um, so I thought that I would make a sympathy card tonight. So I'm going to start with that, I think. Because it's not, it's not as easy or as nice but let's start with a sympathy card. And maybe you guys will have 
some suggestions for sympathy cards, something that is that your go-to or something that um, that you've tried and that it worked. I would love to hear. Carl says, I finished building two dual extruder printers to handle multicolor prints. <gasps> In other words, we automated multicolor shabby cases. Woohoo, nice. That's really cool. Very cool indeed. Very cool indeed. Okay. So I'm starting with my, I'll try to catch up on the, the comments as they come through, but I'm starting on with a sympathy card and I've pulled out a Hero Arts cling stamp, which is many, many years old, but it's a really pretty design. And I thought that instead of my normal bright colors, rainbow colors, I would actually pick up one of the ink pads that very rarely gets a lot of love in my craft room and it's called milled lavender and i'm doing it quite light at the moment because what i want to do is add some color and then stamp it and emboss it and then add some more like a darker color on top so i get a two-tone effect so we'll see Uh, IBF says watching, listening, and crafting. Yes, the trifecta. Oh, oh, oh. And um, thank you very much for your sympathy and for uh, all your thoughts from Craig's family. Nessa says I batch make them when I don't need them, so I've got them in stock. So when upset, I don't have to make a sad card. That's a good call. It's a very good call. All right, I'm using, so I've added some, it's, the lights are quite bright here. There is color on that, but it is quite subtle. And I've used the uh, domed ink foam blender thingy. The dome foam, the domed ink blending tool, the foam one. Um, and Yelzel says, I usually go with thinking of you. Ashley says, sorry for your loss. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, Amanda says, uh, sympathy cards, those are always the hardest. I like to make a few plainish thinking of you cards. Yeah, that's it. So I want to send one to Craig's mum. And I also want to send one to Craig's mum's sister, who... Um, was close to Jord, so um, Auntie Elsie. So let's see what we can do. I'm actually gonna set that to the side to dry a bit, and then I'm going to emboss this over the top. So while I'm working on, while I'm letting that dry, I'm going to actually look for some more florals or something in my stash, because we do think that you're right, florals are a great option. And I'm sure that I have a honeybee stamp. Um, some sort of a flower. Is it like a cherry blossom or something? A little one, a little stamp. And if I could just find it, I think it would be perfect. For this. Oh, this one's nice. It's Hero Arts as well. Hero Arts is pretty good for florals, actually. What's that? Oh, yeah, Lotus Blossom. It's maybe a bit small, but we could maybe batch create them. Maybe work on something like that. Okay, so we've got this flower and then this one too. So why not make both? Um, oh, somebody's talking about slimline. Yes, I use that measurement too, I think, Amanda. 
Marcy loves the domed foam blenders. Yeah. I've used the group hug set stamp from Waffle House for a sympathy card before and sending hugs. Oh, they're, they're good options. For these two, I, th I think it kind of depends as well who you're sending it to, if you know what I mean. So for Craig's mom and dad, I could probably do probably do anything to be honest um but for auntie elsie she is a bit older so i think traditional will go a nice long way i think there so let's see so let's do a stripe of color and then some flowers coming up. I'll use my heavy memo tip. I want to get my lines right and I don't have a don't have a mat here so I'm going to just mark this sometimes if you've got a a mat you can kind of eyeball it a lot better I'm holding this up to the light so I can see that line through it. Except I can't see this side. All right. So what color shall we go for now? Embossing powder to mask out a white lily with a light blue black background. Well, that sounds lovely. Actually, I might do a light blue background for this guy. I think that would be quite nice. And maybe also the oxides would be a good shout. Or we could fade this, maybe blend it into another color. Maybe I should try and blend it into the milled lavender. I'm not sure. Oh, I don't have milled lavender and oxide though. What do I have? Do I have milled lavender and oxide? I do. Go figure. It's actually a really, really pretty color. Hi, Joy. Joy's here. Hello, dear. How are you? So we've had a few viewings on our house. Oh my gosh, it's crazy trying to keep this house clean. <laughs> and then about, <laughs> about 10 minutes before our viewing, I got a delivery of three big massive boxes. <laughs> so I was like, put them in the craft room quick. Hide them away. Hi, 
Hi, Connie. How are you? All right, so I've got my tumble glass and my milled lavender. And I'll keep this memo tape for later because there's still a lot of still a lot of life left in that that guy. And then this will have some ooh, some flowers coming in from the side, I think. But let's let that dry and we'll go back to card number one. I think I'm going to need to use my misty with this or a brayer. I've not used a big massive stamp in quite some time. I mean a background one. embossing buddy to rub this rub some uh, powder all over oh it's transferred some pink ink and let's see if I can find my brayer which would be perfect have my little brayer out I'm going to Cover this. With my wow embossing ink, which is a clear ink, so you won't really see much difference. You might see a little bit of a shine. Iris says you're moving. Yes, I'm moving. Oh, I wish it wasn't anyway. Run out of space. Everybody wants more heffy doodle things and I have to find a better way to store them. <laughs> Let's have a look. If I'm using a brayer, I've only got one shot at this. This is how we used to do it before we had things like misties. I thought I'd show you. Okay, so I have my piece of paper. And I'm going to take my paper onto my stamp. And in fact, like that. And I'm going to put a piece of scratch paper on top. And then making sure that I hold it down at all times. I can use a hand if you want to. But sometimes if you're using your hands, you accidentally move two hands instead of just one hand. And with a brayer, you can kind of be strategic about it and make sure that you get all the areas done. You guys are probably not really going to be able to see that, but there definitely is a stamp image there. Let's grab some embossing powder. And cover this up. I'm going to use clear embossing powder so that we get to still see that sort of light milled lavender underneath.
and most of my embossing powders are just in the little tubs but for clear uh, I have a tub for clear for for black actually even though I don't even use it anymore and I have one for white however the white that I have in the tub is not an ultra fine white so I actually don't use it very much anymore I use the one in the tub from WoW and then I have one from Ranger which is called oh man I can't remember what it was called oh liquid platinum or something like that was called um, and I uh, actually I think I'll use that for the next card I'm gonna put you guys on mute but I'll bring my heat tool over here so that we can see the magic happen. All right. Whew. So Connie says, what's the difference between the grain size and the embossing powder? So it won't really make a difference for something like this, but you will notice a big difference if you are embossing uh, like words, especially if it's something like, if you have like an exclamation point and then the dot below, the bigger, the bigger grains, um, it'll kind of merge the line and the dot. Or if you have a, number, a letter E like this, then you might find it hard to see the, the space in the middle, things like that. But the smaller grains means that it's less likely to distort it. Yeah, for detail stamps and sentiments. Yeah. I actually um, like to have my uh, little pokey tool and very often if there's an E or something, I just sort of scratch away the embossing powder particles in there. And also if you have an exclamation point, I just make the exclamation point shorter. I just poke away a couple of the little powd oh, powdery, powdery boils. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. I think it's looking really pretty. Ooh, I've just contaminated the thing. I'm going to bring some more colour onto this and hopefully make it pop. Let me clean off my clean off my um, oxide creaminess.
There we go. So I'm coming back in over the top with my milled lavender. And I'm hoping you can start to see that. Oh, I should mention to you guys that we have a promotion in store at the moment because it was my birthday last week and my mom's birthday tomorrow. Um, we're giving a free birthday dye uh, away with every order over £30. So if you're purchasing Heffy Doodle this week, you'll get a free dye. Everybody loves free dyes. So once you've got to this stage, take a paper towel and rub away some of the ink that's sitting on top of that glossy surface here. And it makes a beautiful effect. I think that it's nice and subtle. A good option for sympathy, I think. All right, let's see. So let me let me think. Let's cut this down. I think I might actually layer it onto some white card, but I need oh, that's the same size. Let me just do it manually. them for the next one. Marcy says I love how soft it looks. It is, it's very soft. It almost from a distance looks a bit velvety. If you know what I mean. So I think just like this. Now I do want to make sure that I get it stuck down really well. There's a little bit of a corner wanting to poke up there. So we'll smoosh that down nicely. Lawton is here, first time. Very welcome, very welcome. Um, I'm starting today, Nona, with sympathy card because sadly we've had um, one of our in-laws has passed away today. And I'm kind of talking a little bit about what we like to use for sympathy cards because they are most definitely the hardest cards to make. A lot of floral, um, people like florals on their sympathy card and I think that's definitely a, a good call.
All right, Mimi here. I had to take off my gel nails and I filed my nails down to nothing. So <laughs> it's hard to take off the take off the um, release paper. Okay. So now that I've trimmed this down, it should fit perfectly on the card here with a nice mat. And I think we should go for just a very simple sympathy greeting. We could even do the thinking of you from this if we wanted to, or um, the classic sentiments have something. Let's see. Or we've got thinking of you today on the um, close at heart sentiment and deepest sympathy on there. So we've got deepest sympathy, thinking of you today, there's thinking of you. I think probably that's going to be too bold. I like quite like this one, thinking of you today. We could probably just leave out the today and do the thinking of you. What do you guys think? Oh, thank you. We've got some people on Twitch saying condolences, positive vibes. Thank you so much. Nessa says, I use calla lilies on yours. Yes, calla lilies are great. I normally only peel the color of the release off and then lined it up. <laughs> I've done that before. That's a great tip actually to help line things up. Floral cards are definitely a good choice. All right, let's go for thinking of you in this script. Or maybe we could do the thinking of you today on the inside and then do the deepest sympathy on the outside. Let's try that. And I think we want that on a little bit of white. Nona says, are you in the UK? Yes, I am. I am indeed. All right, deepest sympathy. Now, I think there is a Catherine Pooler ink which matches this perfectly. So let me just steal this for a minute. And I think it's called Sweet 16 or Rose petals, sweet 16, might be too light in fact. Let them be tested out. What do you guys think? Is that too, I think that's probably too light. Maybe we should just go for a grey tone. A grey tone is a bit less harsh compared to uh, black. Maybe the twilight color from Catherine Pooler. Oh, by the way, for those who have been asking, I have placed an order of Catherine Pooler ink so we'll get a restock in the store. They actually um, recently released the, mm, I think it's called Paradise Lost or Paradise Collection. They, it's colors that they already had in the bigs but they are releasing them in the minis so I've added them as well. Yay! Lots of love for gray. Gray would be awesome. 
gray would be better. There we go. Can't go wrong with gray. Whether you spell it with an E or you spell it with an A, it's still awesome. All right, so we have deepest sympathy here. And I just need to do a little tidy it up so I can get my die cutting machine down here beside me. And I'm going to cut this out using the uh, strips of ease. Heffy doodle strips of ease. Like this. No says the new minis. Yes, so I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna stock the large ones, but I am stocking the minis. And um I feel like it's called Paradise. It's either called Paradise or Paradise Lost, something like that. The colours belonging to that. So they're coming into the store. I just ordered them today, so. Amy says, can I have them as well, please? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they were on they were already on your list, Amy, that you sent over. Alright, so that's using the strips of ease. And when you're using the strips of ease, sometimes you get a little like crease. And that's completely normal. Just take a bone folder. And smooth it out. So we could go just in the middle. We could come in from the side. Or we could go down here. If it was longer, I could go the whole way, but I didn't think that one through, did I? Snow says, do you have any of the big size colors? I don't, I mean, I have them personally in my stash, but I don't have them for the store because um, it's it's kind of a massive investment, to be honest, because there's minimum orders and then there's loads of colors. And remember I'm moving house because I don't have enough space here. So there's that. I'm going to see if I can find a bit of foam. Here we go, this will do probably. Where I can pop this up a little. So this is foam adhesive, which is sticky on both sides. Just had an idea of using maybe some tonic um, jewel drops on this. I think that would look really cute. We go up top or we go down bottom? I think I'm feeling it down bottom. Try to get it straight. So it's not exactly a very wow card, but it does, I think, look really pretty. 
Now, I have got a couple of Nouveau drops. These ones here, the Dream Drops, they have a kind of like a pearlescent sheen to them. Like pearly. Let me see if I can zoom in on you. So, let me see. It's actually quite cute. I actually quite like that. Or we have the white, but the pearls actually, I think I might go for the pearls. It's really runny though. So I shall have to go easy. Now this stamp actually has some random dots all over so I'm going to use that as a little bit of a guide I'm probably not going to do all of them because I think that might be a little too much What have I done? Silly, silly, silly. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, right I'm gonna zoom in here rather than lift this. I'll need to come back and do the um, inside thinking of you at the end when those drops are dry. So there you go. Let me pop it over here, somewhere flat, where I'm not going to put my finger in it. Well, I shouldn't put my finger in it. Never say never, Leslie. Connie says, do you have a storefront in the UK? I do not. Sorry, not, not at the moment anyway. Okay, back to card number two. Um, and I pulled out this hero. No, I said it was hero arts. It's not, it's called Stamp It. Stamp It. Hmm. Let's see. Mm, I'm not sure what kind of quality it is. Let's see. So we could go... We could do designs coming up. We could do designs coming from the side. Maybe a couple. Let's see. I think this is definitely a misty situation. You don't really need a wow card for a sympathy card, but elegant and understated are much better. That is absolutely it, really. Nona, you've got it. It's more about the sentiment, isn't it, than, the, than anything else. So let's see. So one of the other things that I saw some people do, which I really quite liked, was um, they'd stamped something in grey and then stamped it in and coloured it and layered it on top. And that looked really pretty as well. Let's see, maybe we could do something like that. Oh yeah, you were saying use the printed sheet. Yes, get a better idea of where it's going to go. I'm using the um, twilight color again. I 
looks like it's quite a fine line. Oh, it's stamped fine. I do want to stamp it again. Because I might decide to colour some of these flowers in. I haven't decided yet. So what do you think? Maybe put another one down here. I think that looks nice. Connie says, I don't have any Catherine Puller inks. Where would you recommend starting? What five colors? <gasps> Ooh, okay, well, I think colors is a little bit of a personal choice because it depends what kind of cards you like to make. Um, but for me, if I was starting, I would definitely buy Party Dress, which is a, a vibrant pink color. And I use it a lot for sentiments. I use it a lot for sentiments. Um, I think I would probably also buy the Twilight for sentiments. So I, I'm thinking, yeah, um, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? I'll show you the, this is the these are the different colors that you get. So the party dress is this one and it's a really beautiful pink. I don't think I have any other pink that's quite as pink as that pink. And then um, I like the Twilight for, for doing sentiments. And what else would I pick? I think I'd probably pick like an Aquatini because I really like that color. I like the teal kind of colors and I use a lot of cardstock. So if I use a cardstock in teal, put some, if I use white on it, then I would do the sentiment in the same color. Um, I would go for those three. And then for me, I would probably choose something like the lemon cello. I like a, I like a yellow color and it's actually, or the tiara is also good too. It's, it's a yellow, but you can still read it when it's stamped. Roberta says the foundations are good. These, this, this one, red, orange twist, grass skirt and, and fiesta blue. I actually use these two a lot more. Um, I don't use these ones as much. But it really depends. Look how fluffy my hair is now. Nessa suggests always blue, yellow, red. And then you can make the others. It's true, you can uh, blend with these, which is always nice too. All right, so we've got our card like this and we have some flowers so if we're going to color these flowers and then pop them on question is what color do we color them in do we go for like the milled lavender kind of color or maybe we use that sweet 16 which is kind of a lighter color so you can use it as a paint. Have I got anything that's... Of course, I haven't used watercolor cardstock, have I? But at least it's something. Can you see? So 
So I'm going to add just a little touch of this. paint to this flower. I don't even know what kind of flower this is. There we go. Amy says, are you getting the neutrals? I don't think I saw them as a mini set. Um, no, but I can probably still add them on if you want me to. Um, they are the larger ones though. I'm hoping that Catherine will soon stock everything in the minis. <laughs> quite frankly. Okay. So I'm going to attempt to fussy cut this little guy. Probably not going to do those skinny, skinny malink guys at the top, those petals. Can I get the grey too? If not too late, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, okay, so there's one. Um, how much are they? Oh, can someone pop over to the heavy little store and figure out how much they are? I know that the foundations are a four pack and then the other ones are an eight pack. So obviously they're twice the price. But I haven't stocked any of the large ones, so I'm not sure how much they are, but you can probably, um, have a look at Catherine's store and figure it out from there maybe. Can't do the math in my head at the moment. Nessa says smaller scissors might help. You probably would. But these are my favorite scissors. <laughs> so next this one the bigger one Roberta says I like Simon's ink pads I don't think I have any of Simon's I have some ink on three stamp pads and they look similar but just because they look similar doesn't mean they are similar 
Thanks, Amy. So about 16.99 ish for a set of four, 33 for the eight, and I'm not sure what the big one would end up being. Anyone have any clue what kind of flower this is? Maybe it's a meta flower. All right, three of these little guys. So I can glue it straight down or I could pop it up a little. But I am leaning towards straight down. Oh, I've done it again. I think I'm gonna glue it straight down because it's quite delicate little bits and I don't want it to catch on the envelope and things like that. If I was a nine year old Piper, what would I do with my glue? Oh, there it is. Jasmine's off to bed. Bye! Which white ink pad would you recommend, please? So when you say white, do you mean like a pigment white for stamping in white? Um, I'm guessing you don't mean uh, a clear one for embossing. And in which case I'm gonna open it up to the floor because I have bought so many white ink pads and I don't know whether it's because my room is too hot but they never seem to stay white if that makes sense it never seems to be overly opaque There was one called Unicorn White, which I think was maybe Hero Arts, and it worked for a while, and then it just didn't. Yeah, I'm gonna end up ruining things. Oh, Roberta says Unicorn White from Hero Arts. So there, there you go. Must be. Must work okay. Other people are recommending.
These are like bull horns. There we go. Uh, have you tried Brutus Monroe Alabaster? I have not. I should try that. Nessa says stays on for her. Yeah, I had stays on as well, but stays on is not so friendly when it comes to um, your stamps, sadly. Stays on will stay on your stamps. <laughs> Essentially. So I don't use it so much. It's fine for using on acetate and things like that, but which is kind of what it's designed for smooth, non porous surfaces. Iris says, oh, Amy says I'm going to try the Distress Picket Fence next. I have that one and I don't, I don't think it like disappears. It, I don't, I'm not, I don't read it, sadly. Iris says she has the Lawn Fawn Yeti. I don't have that one, so I'd be interested to see what that's like too. But I would imagine that the Lon Fawn Yeti and the Hero Arts is actually the same ink because I believe they're manufactured by the same company. So I'm carrying on with that same color, that sweet 16 color. It's a really nice sort of powdery purple color. But for true white stamping, white embossing powder, absolutely. I agree. that it's really kind of going to be the only way to get it completely crisp. <laughs> Roberta says yes for white stay white embossing powder is the way to go and Roberta says she prefers wow embossing powders I'm a big fan of wow real big fan of wow embossing powders the white especially the ultra fine I used to use ranger and then I used hero arts for a bit and that's what I have in my tub I think and then we did a collaboration with Heffy Doodle and Wow Embossing Powder. And I thought, oh, I'll just try it because loads of people were talking about it. And then I haven't gone back since. <laughs> so. I think, wow, they know what they're doing. Their embossing powder is very, very cool. It just wows me. Very on brand. <laughs> Let me catch up. Uh, Connie says Brutus Monroe is pigment ink. Oh, okay, okay. Connection of Lives and Interest 2020 uh, on YouTube has joined. That's a new one for us. Welcome. Uh, 
uh, and asks, what is it you're doing just joined in? Um, I'm doing some card making tonight and I have made one sympathy card so far and working on a second sympathy card and then I'm gonna make a birthday card for my mumsy. My mumsy wumsy. Whose birthday is tomorrow and I should have already made the card and sent it to her but at least she knows her daughter. She knows that she's not, <laughs> not going to get it done next week. All right, let's. So I've stamped the stamp, these flower stamps, and I've colored it in, watercolored it using some ink from a Catherine Pooler ink pad. And I'm now fussy cutting it with a pair of scissors and we'll adhere it onto my card over here. Can you get the Brutus Monroe pads in the UK? Um, only if somebody, only if a store stocks Brutus Monroe, but I'm not sure. Is Candy here tonight? Candy, are you here dear? Candy's in the Brutus Monroe uh, design team. She might know that question, but I'm sure if you go over to Brut Brutus Monroe and look to see if they have a list of like retail partners or things like that, I'm sure that will give you information. Um, I'm trying to think. Maybe the litter, the little paper tree has Brutus Monroe. I'm not sure. Amy, you don't stock Brutus Monroe, do you? Ta-da! You got there in the end. Make myself a little glue stick, a little glue palette knife. Just trying to get it in a nice thin layer. So all those little pointy bits are stuck down. And these ones I'll pop more. You can't say pop when you got something in your mouth. These ones will pop more against the blue, I think. There we go. Well, let me catch up. Uh, just getting back to crafting after 20 years, we just moved a year ago to the new home, trying to find all my crafting stuff and building up supplies. Yay! It's a great time to get back into crafting. I think it's definitely having a resurgence again. All right, let's see. See if we can get these bull horns stuck down. Oh. On we go. Roberta says she needs to get some of those scented powders. <laughs> I don't think I'd like them. I'm a bit fussy about smells. <laughs> Get rid of all these little bits of debris. I'm loving this. I might actually go over it with my uh, Wink of Stella pen just to give it a little bit of glitter. I think that would be 
not too much, but just a little sheen for a little je ne sais quoi. And I think we'll just put deeper sympathies in here and leave it at that, to be honest. Connie says, I just checked their website and they have euros listed on their website. Oh, well, I think that doesn't necessarily mean that they have someone, some, oh, where's my thing? It doesn't necessarily mean that they have a store there. It just means that they're able to take payments in that. <laughs> Carl says, would you like a card? Yes, make me one with everything. That's the uh, lesser known Buddhist Munro. <laughs> Love it. So we could have deeper sympathy over here, here, here. I like this white space. It's shouting at me at the moment. It's calling, calling out. And we'll carry through that grey colour. I think. Oh, are they fuchsias? Maybe. Totally off on my colours then. Should be more... Hello, doggo. Come on in. Ranger's here to say hello. Hello, buddy. Coming up. My boy. You're so fluffy. Alright. Um, Roberta says they aren't over pirate. We're talking about the scented embossing powders so i get really funny with you know like car air fresheners they legitimately give me like a migraine it is horrible and i'm really fussy about smells but i like scent. i like scented candles and i love like wintry ones and spicy ones and pumpkin spice and things but anything like sea breeze and linen I'm like, oh, no thanks Nona says it's looking very elegant ah oh, thanks okay, let's see let's my scrapbook.com one is a bit goldy I think I'd rather have a silvery tone but where or oh, where that's gold as well Where's my silver one then too? Um, I guess we're just gonna have to go for this one. So it will darken up a little bit where the wetness hits the ink, but it will dry not so dark but luckily there's loads of beautiful mica pigment powders or mica particles coming out let's see can you see not really just have to get the right kind of angle it's not gonna work <laughs> it's pretty just believe me all right so there's two cards we've got this one and we have this one that i'm gonna try and not well some of my pearls are not so pearly they think they're they're too goopy I haven't kept their pearly finish their like roundness that's okay Still looks nice. So there's two cards done so far. Nessa says lemon gives me migraines. Oh. Amy's off to bed. Night. 
pumpkin spice is the ice blend one. I must actually have a look. Is is pumpkin spices? Are they are they back? Are they back yet? Is what I want to know. Love a pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice latte. But, but much to Craig's chagrin. Well, not really to chagrin, but much to his ridicule. He, his ridicule, he ridicules me for this. But I always ask for a pumpkin spice latte. Like a big one with like one shot of coffee because I don't actually like coffee. <laughs> but I do like... pumpkin spice so there's that all right so I decided that I wanted to go for I wanted to, to use this stamp as well and this is a lotus flower stamp by honeybee stamps and I want to use that liquid platinum um, embossing powder this is from Ranger not my dog the company and there's a reason why this has its own tub because I can't even tell you how beautiful this color is. It's like a mix, it's, it's where gold meets silver. It's that sort of gold meets silver, kind of bronzy, but just beautiful. And if you haven't, already seen it or bought it. I'm so sorry, but you're probably going to want it. So I'm going to heat emboss a selection of these and then cut them out. So it doesn't matter the way these are spaced or anything on the card. That does not matter at all. Uh, Amanda says, I think PSL is back now. Oop, boop, boop. Uh, Sharon says we have a 10 year old Shih Tzu Cosmo. You have him on YouTube. Ah, oh, cute. Ranger is a cockapoo. Okay, I'm going to do a couple of these off the edge as well, just so that I have them to play with. Let's see if I can get a partial one on here as well. If I don't use them, it's no biggity. my friends you know the drill on to mute you go
All right, so here it is. So it's not a yellow gold and it's not a rose gold. It's called liquid platinum, I think. And it's just beautiful. There's just no other way to describe it. Nessa, uh, Nona says, Nessa, lemon scent reminds me of Auntie Mate and Citronella burning for misses, yeah. And then lavender gives you headaches. Mm. <laughs> All right. Now we have to try and... Do you know what I actually hate about floral stamps? It's trying to match up the dye. <laughs> I feel like it's like the hardest thing. Maybe we can figure it out. Aha! Okay, I think we can maybe make this work because there's like two big bits and then a little bit there. So let's see if we can die cut these quickly if we can match them up quicker. Yee! Ness is off to make a cup of make me one too. So pretty. You turn the die a hundred times before you get it to fit, says Marcy. That's totally what it feels like. But if we know that these two bits here oh, I think I feel like of I feel like I'm a winner. Yeah. All right, so we need to figure out how we're gonna color these little guys. So one option could be to use gelatos. I've not used gelatos in a while. I could use watercolors because I did use my paint on watercolor cardstock. So we could use that. Which gives us some options. Can't use Copics. I want something quick. I don't want something that's going to take ages. <laughs> Sharon says, I want to see Ranger. I'll lift them up in a minute once I get these guys die cut. I will warn you though, it's super cute. It's very super cute. Oh no. Oh, there it is. Oh, Connie says, Leslie, can you tell us again the embossing powder uh, you use on the brand? The embossing powder is Ranger Liquid Platinum. Nona says this technique never gets old. That is so true. So here's the question. Do you guys remember the first time you saw it and where were you? remember I was at a craft shop in Glasgow and uh, at the till point they would do little demos and things and I remember asking the lady it was pretty quiet I remember asking the lady like what what is this like I think it was the clear no it was the heat tool um, and I was like and she said, well, that's a heat gun. I was like, what does that mean? And she was like, oh, for embossing? Have you seen heat embossing? I'm like, no. And she said, oh, let me show you. Because she knew. She knew my world was going to be changed forever.
Sharon says, I feel like I lost some important crafting stuff like a light, a light box thing, embossing gun, loads of stamps. Well, um, whenever I get to the, oh no, how do I do this now? Whenever I get to the point of clearing out all my stuff to move house, oh, I'm going to be here forever with this one. Um, I'm thinking of putting together some, like, I guess like blind boxes is probably how you would classify it. So that it will be a, a collection of stuff. Pattern paper, tools, that kind of thing. I really don't want to throw away good things, but there's also a lot of stuff in my craft room that I don't use at all. Now that you're awake, Ranger, would you like to make an appearance? Okay, I have to watch because he always ends up kicking my. Come on, buddy. Oh, I know. There he is. Can you hear me? We're kind of. Your floof is covering the microphone. Here we go. Your floof is covering the microphone. What do you think? Had enough? Oh, shame for blessing us with your, with your presence, buddy. You, buddy. <laughs> you want a treat? People are sharing their stories. 1999 was when Roberta first saw Heat Embossing. <laughs> and uh, Marcy's had the same heat gun since the mid 90s. I had the same one as well for that long. And then it uh, gave up the ghost last year. And then I got the, the wow one, which I really am a big fan of because it's got two speeds. Bye Ranger. Now that I've paraded you around, he's had enough of this. Roberta's had some of the same embossing powder since 2000. Yep. I have a lot of stuff in my stash from when I started crafting back in about 2003, something like that. <laughs> okay. So we have a selection of flowers. And I'm thinking I might use, did anybody suggest things to use, whether it was a watercolor or anything? I'm thinking I might use my gelatos because my gelatos have not seen the life of day in a long, long, oh, ow, long, long time. So why not, huh? I think I could do with some loving. So let's get them out. And I think I'm going to go pink and yellow, maybe. it's all gonna look like a hot mess for a little bit I 
Well, that's kind of part of the fun of gelatos. What are gelatos? Gelatos are a um, pigment. It's like a, a crayon, pigment crayon. Like water soluble. Come in, but don't bring the moth in. Come on, come on in. Okay, fine. eating a moth out there. So they reactivate with the water in my watercolor brush pen to create a soft sort of painterly look. And these ones I started with the yellow and um, actually ended up with more of an orange color. So to try and get some more pink, I'm starting with the pink here and then bringing it into the center. Marcy says they were embossing a stamped image in gold embossing powder onto mulberry paper. Oh, mulberry paper. Oh. Do you have any videos of him on your channel or Ranger? I don't think so. Roberta uses the uh, Spellbinders Platinum 6 hand crank and also has the Gemini. I have the Gemini Junior. I'm a big fan of it. And I also have a small handheld, a uh, small like desktop machine here. Stop eating moths. All right. So we've got some variety here. The more of a painterly kind of, um, rather than a refined finished thing, more paint painterly, as you would say. back in the drawer. And I think I'd like to use a dark tone. 
I can find blueberry. Bliss, maybe. Let's see. I'm just going to get rid of any white spots that are lurking. Um, okay, I think that's too dark. Let's go for something different. Maybe a stenciled background. I think I'll go dark, but I think I'm going to go for um, stripes. I'm going to pull out my crosswalk stencil by Heffy Doodle. And I'm going to use the dark stripes, but... Mix it up. So I need this. This is what, can you see this? This is what happens when the dog decides that the tape is a good enough toy to throw around the place. Cheeky little sausage. Okay, I'll let you in in a second. Just give me a minute, just wait. Did you eat that moth? Was he tasty? You're so gross. Sweet child of mine, you are so gross. Okay, so let's tape this bad boy down. And we'll add some ink. And we'll go for a dark color. So I think I'm going to go for a navy color. Simon has a navy color, I think. I just need to find it. <laughs> Here we go. Soft navy, it's called. We're gonna try this. Let's see. Oops, all right. I need to catch up. Hobby Lobby has the Gemini Junior, someone is saying. Uh, and the Gemini go on clearance. Wow, that's a good price. At fifty one ninety nine. Sharon says, just so y'all know, I was having a bad afternoon and you all snapped me out of it. Thank you. Yay. Do you know, I was kind of having a bad afternoon too. And these guys, these guys on Come Craft With Me are the best at getting you out of a funk. Bonky bonk. Okay. So 
So I'm gonna try and do a little bit of a blendy blendy to a lighter blue, I think. So I'll go lighter on my blending tool, but I'll actually come in with a different color, I think. Or I will just darken up the bottom, let's see. Loving it. Okay, I do think that this is gonna need some splatters. For sure. The question is, do we splatter with the stencil on or without? So I'm gonna say with. I use the same soft navy ink on my acrylic pad. Oh, too much ink, I think. Too much water, I think. Let's try that again, shall we? Oh, that's really a bad call using the dye ink. Never fear, stamp cleaner is here. All right, let's try that again, but instead let's use a Catherine Pooler ink, not a dye-based ink. And Catherine has a really nice navy color as well. wish that I stacked these in a way that I could find everything again it's going to be the last stack yes of course juniper mist is the, the name of this navy color Up again. Can't be in a bad mood when crafting with friends, for sure. <laughs> Did you get the house, Leslie? asked Roberta. Still too soon to tell, sadly. We're waiting on the mortgage to go through. But there's so many people moving house at the moment that um, mortgage applications are taking forever. So it's still a wait and see situation, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sharon says, I still have all the old wooden block stamping. I have some of them too. <laughs> oh, this is called Ultra Clean. So we've got two different um, 
sprays in the Heffy Doodle store, the Ultra Clean, and there's also one from Ranger, the Ink Essentials line. Um, and I actually prefer the smell of the Ranger one, um, but I, I couldn't get it for a while, so I stock this. And this gets a lot of stains out, so um, the, the Ranger one does too, to be fair. I just like the smell of the other one better. The smell of the other one is like a bubblegum smell or something. It's really nice. But you'll see if I try and... Like that's me rubbing it with a dry. And then that's me rubbing it with a baby wipe. But if I spritz it and then give it a wipe, it'll shift a lot of the color. Back to white. Connie says, I use a mix of baby wash, distilled water and glycerin. Very good. I use, I use mostly baby wipes. And then for stubborn stains and dyes, I would use one of those stamp cleaner sprays. Roberta says, yes, the pink bubblegum. Yes, that's the one. Pink bubblegum one. Let's see what kind of a little cluster of flowers we can make here. Either we just do them, do it all over like randomly and cut off the edges. Kind of looks like a patterned swimsuit or something. Or we do a selection. I like the pink ones better, I think. Something like this. Sharon says, I use those dots that you peel and stick for a raised effect. Yep, there's foam ones and then there's glue dot ones. Both are great. I think. How about we add a little bit of twine to this for a nice look. Kind of rustic look. Maybe space these out a bit more. Or we tie it in a bow on this side. Which might be cute.
and kind of space it out a little bit. stick down my florals Add this one, add some foam underneath this one to pop it up a bit. It does have a bit of an ocean feel to it. I think that's the, uh, the old navy stripes, isn't it? Let's see if we can um, stamp or die cut uh, mom. I think that'd be nice. Maybe we, we'll try the stitched alpha better dies. That might be cool. We could even cut them out of these so they're the same the same sort of style. Let's see. Carries through those colors. So these are the stitched off of betters. Let me just get a pokey tool, poke them out. Leave that moth alone. Who else have we got? Oh, Marjolein's here. Hey, Marjolein. Such a refreshing card, says Connie. You can make your red rubber stamps to be like clear stamps to use in the stamping tool, like a Misty or Tim Holtz stamping paper. Yes, you can just pull them off the, the wooden background. And in fact, you can even put them in the microwave for like five to 10 seconds and that will uh, sort of start to melt the glue, the adhesive, and then they'll be much easier to remove from the wood. I'm gonna do that U again in some of these sort of darker tones, I think. Yes, as well, you have a new look. Yes, I got my uh, hair cut a few weeks ago. Actually, normally wear it straight, but I just dry, I just showered before I came online and um, this is it drying naturally, so it's got a bit fuzzy. <laughs> it's gone a little bit wild. But you're not here to look at my hair. You're here to look at my crafty craftiness.
All right. We've got mum here. Let's stick these on. And then that will be my third card. Now I do want to bring in some of that sort of gold tones, so I'm going to see what goldy things I have. These are jumping out at me at the moment. Some metallic. stick in there. Are you going to save the flowers that you would cut your lettuce from? Probably not. Oh yeah, you're right. You probably could use them. Look. Mum. How cute is that? It totally work. And um, so we have also a shiny gold here, but I kind of like this pink. And I think I'll try some white. I'm just going to check if we've got any bigger ones. No, those are smaller. Ooh, there's teeny weeny McWeeny ones here. One thing I could do is add some of these like sparkly gems onto the flower, but I think it'll actually make it, it'll detract from what we've already got going on. So I think I'm going to leave that as is. Marcy says I'm so nervous to remove the rubber from my rubber mines. Oh. It's always a bit nervous and anxious um, whenever you do something that you don't normally do. But once you've done it once or twice, then it's fine. Start with one that you don't really care about. And then it'll all work out from there. I promise. Work your way up to it. All right, so I'm gonna push all the mess out of the, out of the camera here. <laughs> and we've got a card from, from mom and I have two sympathy cards ready to go. I have this one and this one. So some nice soft tones for uh, the sympathy cards. 
And I think I'm gonna call that a night. Dun, dun, dun. I have to tidy up this mess uh, before I go to sleep tonight because we have some viewings in the morning, which means a quick up, up and at them. Luckily the house, we had a viewing today, so the house is still pretty tidy from that, but you'd be surprised how messy a house can get whenever you're not even doing anything. Hey-ho. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me for tonight's Come Craft With Me, and thank you for all your input for tonight's cards and all of your well wishes and thoughts uh, given our loss in the family. I better go and tidy this up and I shall see you guys soon. Don't forget that over on the Heffy Doodle store there is a promotion where you can get free birthday dye. Birthday dye you're gonna use again and again and again. So head over there and see all the details there. And I shall see you next week on Come Craft With Me. Bye, you guys. Bye-bye.